Are you lonely due to making everybody else happy? Has this become a part of your life where you're doing everything for everybody else and nobody's doing anything for you? Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord, the host of the show. This is a topic that I really want to get into because I think there's so many of us out there that tend to be caregivers, nurturers, whatever the scenario, whatever you want to call yourself. But you have to get something back. If you're constantly giving to other people, eventually it drains you. It takes away your energy and it makes you feel depleted. It makes you feel like, is this all there is? What am I getting out of life? So if this is happening to you where you're starting to feel really sad and lonely because you don't feel anybody really gives a crap about you, you spend so much time helping others and you sit back and you go, well, why doesn't anybody do that for me? Yeah, it would be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, that's the way it should be. It should be a give and take situation, give and take world. Unfortunately, it isn't. And you have to choose carefully who that you're giving to on a regular basis because you really should have reciprocated relationships in every department, whether it's your, your love relationship, your friendship relationship, family relationship, all those kind of things need to be give and take. You should never be the one that's only being the caregiver or nurture to that person because it's not fair. You're going to end up being very resentful down the road or you're going to get used over and over and over again and you just feel deflated. So when you are deciding on who you want to allow into your life, because as you know from my videos, I always say you are the one that attracts them towards you. So if you're being super nice and super giving all the time, you're going to attract those people that are looking for help. Now it's okay to be that way with your family and your friends, but I mean, sometimes even const you know, strangers, you're sitting there giving advice and helping and doing things with on a regular basis. So you have to start saying to yourself, okay, I have to make sure that I get something out of my life too. It's not just about being sort of that codependent person where I'm always feeling good because I'm giving to someone else. Because that doesn't last forever. Eventually you're going to feel very, very lopsided because you're going to be exhausted with giving to everybody else and getting nothing back. So take baby steps right now. If you're starting to feel this and you're, and you're starting to even say this to yourself, like why doesn't anybody give to me? You have to, uh, first of all, allow people to give to you. Some people aren't comfortable with letting somebody come in and help them. So you have to take that step to bring forward, to allow people to come in and help you. You also have to have expectations that when you do something for somebody else, you're going to get some stuff back from them too. I don't mean every single time, but you shouldn't be sitting there exhausting yourself with helping other people and they're just taking. Because that's why you feel lonely, that's why you feel sad, and that's why you feel like you've got maybe all these people in your world that you're helping but you feel alone at the same time because they're not there for you. So make small changes, allow people to come in and help you because that's the first step to changing this pattern that you've got yourself into. And it's very important you change it because eventually you'll start getting sick, you'll have all these things going on, you don't know what it is, but it's because you're not getting anything wonderful back from anybody in your life and it's taking its toll on your health, on your emotions, on everything. So hear me out here and just take some baby steps to start and pull back from people that you keep giving to. Because if you're watching this video, something's happening to you along, this line, along these lines that you wanna change. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe, I love it when you do, and uh, leave your comments below. Thanks everyone, take care, bye.